In this tutorial, you will learn more about light parameters and how to create animation for your lights. Therefore, you can create any type of light that your project requires. Why would animated light be important? Well, which fire looks realistic here in my mantle PC? The fireplace without light animation versus the fireplace with light animation. This one looks more realistic, right? So, let's get started. Animating light is quite simple, and you may have seen it done in other examples, but let's quickly review keyframe animation. Starting from the very beginning, let's turn on our point light, 01. Let's also turn on its gizmo, so we can see where the point light is. Notice here on my timeline, I have the point light open, and I also have the track open for transform. If I add in a keyframe by double clicking here at this point, I can create a key. Then let's use the transform tool to move the light to a new position. When I play back, you can see the light will move from this position to this position on the timeline. Later you can add more keys and create more complicated animations, or just attach the light to a path and use the path's animation for your light. You can also adjust the speed of your light by moving the keyframe closer together to make the animation faster, or you can move the keyframes further apart to make the animation much slower. You can also use keyframes to adjust the brightness of your light, using this grayscale and the timeline track for color. We can have the light fade in or fade out. In this case, we'll have the light fade out. Or we can do the reverse by going to the first keyframe, making its color black, and then going to the second keyframe, making its color white and we can play back and watch how the light fades in. Color is not also only for grayscale. For example, we can have our light start as red and then have it change to blue. We have our light start as red. And then for the second key, we'll change it from the color red to blue. So therefore, from this keyframe of red to this keyframe of blue, the color will change slowly from red to blue. So let's play back and watch how the light changes color. Now take a look at this scene. I want to light this scene up using the light of a street lamp. So how can I go about this process? There are actually a few ways. One is I can use a point light and have it positioned at the head of the lamp. Right now the light doesn't seem too realistic, so we can adjust the parameters, such as turn on decay, which will scatter the light more, then adjust the range. This looks not bad, but there are a few things I don't like about it. The first is there are no shadows. Point lights cannot generate shadows. The second thing I don't like is that the point light is not giving the right feeling of a street lamp. Street lamps direct light downward, not in all directions. Point lights generate lights in all direction, which is not my desired effect. A light more suited for this purpose would be a spotlight. So I can activate my spotlight, have it placed at the head of the lamp, also have the light shine downward. Just like with a point light, I should fine tune the settings, like turn on decay, adjust the range. I can also adjust the angle and fall off. Plus you can see there are shadows. In this particular scene, I didn't need to animate light parameters, but at least you can see the effects that they have on our scene. However, in this scene, we can animate light parameters. In this scene, I have three point lights, and I will use them to simulate light from a fire. I want to have this point light be a constant light source, and I want this point light to slowly fade in and out, and then I want this last point light to flicker on and off. So let's get started with this slowly fading in and out light. To accomplish this effect, I will make keyframes for range. So open the timeline, and then in particular open the parameter track. At first we want the range to be at about 285, and around at 30 frames, I think I'll shrink the range to 220. Then we can copy those two keyframes, and copy that sequence for the whole duration of the animation. Therefore, the light will have a range of 285, then go to 220, then back to 285, and so on. Now for this light, we want it to do something similar, but we will give the impression of flashing on and off by causing the light to go darker gray to lighter gray, and we will do this for every 40 frames.
So again, paste and copy out those two keyframes for the duration of the animation. And now you can see when we play back, the two point lights that are being animated give you the feeling that we're standing next to a fire. And that is how simple we can animate lights and customize the parameters to create all types of effects for light.